All right, welcome back to what is happening in this game. <laughs> Went from Stormwind Cave. We're going to see if the, I can connect all the way over here because my next objective is to go back to the palace anyway. Things got a bit odd a bit quickly. I guess I am meant to just trust Ambrosius, which like our the, the spirit guy that I'm listening to for some reason seemed to indicate I should go there. And I guess they did save me in the intro, so I should probably potentially listen to that guy, but Stay with me, Arisen. feels a little dubious. Is it? That's a zombie. And that's a rock. I'm wondering about that trickster vocation I received. Maybe we'll take a look at that too. As much as the original aesthetic approach was interesting. Uh, I'm having a little bit of a brutal time with this class. And maybe we'd like to try something else out. Stone in hand, we can travel wheresoever we please. We must save it for a time of dire need. Definitely seems like somewhere they would hide something. Yonder suspicious outcrop. Ooh, go behind it. Did they let me get this far and then just put an invisible wall in so I can't go any further? They did! Really? I'm, I'm so confused by the level designer in this game sometimes. Specifically, it's in this region, the second half of the game, where it kind of seems to happen more. But there's just like these strange spots that look like they're designed for you to like notice you could go to and explore. Be like, damn, what's over here? Oh, I'm so clever. And then find something cool. And then they're like, ah. Oh, well, I don't know how to fix this. Let's put an invisible wall in. There will be monsters lurking beyond it. Bray, keep your wits about you. We needn't go far. Oh. Well, I'm glad you knew what to do with there, Arisen. <laughs> I don't know where you were taught that, especially since you started this game with amnesia. The walls are too close for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we'd be at a disadvantage. Let us conclude our business and be quit of this place. There is naught to be gained from lingering. I know it's generic cave banter, but uh, the walls? <laughs> we're on a floating, terrifying platform surrounded by a void. Walls would be a comfort at this time. If video games I've played have told me anything is that there's a secret back here. Encanter's coat. I wonder if that's gear for the set, for the class I just unlocked. Oh, one of the question marks is there is gone now. It's now the uh, the trickster class. Don't know what else there is. Also, don't know what those icons mean. Honestly, this game's a bit odd. The first game had Mystic Archer, which and the icon for it was half yellow, half blue, because it was. The difference between spell casting and, and archery. That other class over there looks like it's half blue and half red, so it must be like halfway point between being a warrior and a and an archer. I, I mean, I mean, and a, and a mage. But then you get this one; it's just it's purple and pink, and I'm like those colors don't mean anything. <laughs> those aren't options. Oh, the encounter is for the mages. I'm also surprised by how heavily the game differentiates between the two spellcasters. The light blue and the in the dark blue to the point where they're not even allowed to use the same clothes, which is strange. Oh, 
force fell from the pieces of these. These beams are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. It almost feels like I can more regularly wear the gear of the other warrior class, the fighter or whatever, whatever the, the whatever names they chose for them. It almost feels like I can more regularly wear their gear than the two uh, spellcasters can wear each other's gear. A miner's shirt. That's what I started in. Uh, need to have a, a makeshift jail key to open that door. If I had one of those, I'd be breaking the other guy out of the jail for the quest. Oh, makeshift jail key. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I might as well open it because I can buy another one at the store, but this is the one that's here for this. My goal is to go buy one for the other guy. Assuming I, he doesn't get out otherwise. I did bribe the guard, so if they're not completely bugged... Heart, oh no, not rotten food. A oh, ring of profusion? Moderately increases the maximum carry weight. Okay. Might want to give that to them just to... Yeah. A cure roll. So it's better than a cure roll. But I already had a ring of profusion. Womp womp. Alright, so that was not great. <laughs> they gave me a ring I already have and a rotten food. Brutal. Let's see. I think one of these was saying to look for the... What's your place? No. Maybe it was just the previous part of the God's Way quest. Because I thought I had a quest that was saying to check out the... The sea floor shrine. So I was going to equip, equip that one in case it has relevant information. Water dangerous. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Y'all keep saying that to me, and then once again, I just can't think, help but think, uh, your poor actual arisen that you are emotionally cheating on. This slanted building is messing with my brain a little bit. Well, that's some kind of chest. I don't want to go... The, yep, <laughs> I made it. I don't want to go all the way back around. And all heal. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. This looks dangerous. Uh-huh. Without the ability to uh, see, I think you need a harp thing to go up there, basically. Which I don't remember if I have one. Changes the pawn's voice and inclination to simple. That's oddly upsetting. I don't remember what it looks like. The incense that draws harpies in. 
But I think you could get carried up there, and that's like the only way to do that, really. I don't know if I can even throw a pawn that high. Nor does it look like the kind of place where they could do anything to help me up. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Um. Oh, hey. Uniter's mantle. This just all kind of dead ends. Let's see. So even if I could go across this way, I'd be going towards this side of the facility. It's potentially more on my left to actually walk on. Yeah, that doesn't actually go in the direction I need to go in. Unless it wraps around. As of right now, the question is basically whether or not this building is traversable at all. Or is this a dead end? I think this is where we came from. Akira? Akira? Okay, they teleported. I'm like, why are you just standing and it eats you? No. Huh. I wonder if we can, like, raise the whole facility higher or lower the water level. I mean, it's the ocean. The water level's not really going to go down. Well, actually, it would go down based on time of day. But I don't know if they implemented tides into this game? That'd be kind of impressive. My skipping around didn't lead to me getting in here. Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. Potatoes. Hello. It's, it was my goofy skipping around that screwed me, and I missed this path. The stargazer's garb. Hello. And that looks like the path that leads to the rest of where I need to go. Okay. Yep. We have successfully traversed the bay. Pack's grown rather heavy. Perhaps Yours has not. Mine has. You have the lightest pack of them all, you baby. Where is it? There it is. 
I can't even look at what it looks like. I want to see what the Stargazer garb looks like. It looks like it's just a harness, like a bra. It has, hired, it has a bunch of defense, and it's for the class that I can switch to. I just wonder if I can get a full set for that class or not. Anyway, um... There's the big spiky one I keep seeing pawns wear. There, I'm average again. Time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. Alrighty, we made it back eventually. Part of why I tried to travel there as fast as possible with, with a way- Oop. It safe to descend? It's a one way. Now, what might that be? Guys, don't die in the water. How best to proceed. Part of how, why I used a fairy stone to get there was because I, I figured might as well get there as, as efficiently as possible because the way back's going to suck no matter what. But then they went and manifested an entire impossible shortcut, so what do I know? Here we go. We'll be back in no time. This is strangely silent. I'm sorry, did everyone die again? Everyone died again. I think to the ocean too, like not even like an enemy. <laughs> you just cannot trust these companions to stay alive. You fools. All recovered. Alright, well, I need to recruit people again. God damn it. it makes it all the brute all the more brutal the this game really restricts your access to the good wake stone that actually lets you search people up. And you instead get stuck with the crappy ones that might not even have helpful results. No unauthorized entry trespass will be punished to the full extent of the law. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. The Forbidden Magic Research Labor Laboratory is under the direct command of Lord Phasis. No documents or other articles are to be taken from the premises without his leave, and no persons may gain entry without his permission. Hmm... Big dragon. Did y'all get it? Best mm. run along, unless you fancy a stint in the jail. <gasps> a token. Oh, this isn't disrespectful. I'm just climbing on the dragon. We. What was the missive that just arrived? What? Oh, you know, the usual. From Vermin, bound straight for the archives, not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, perchance? You can't just say perchance. Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. 
Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. A secret letter from Vermund. No, 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 this is all wrong. What use are pitiful fragments such as these? What we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just st st stealing everything again like I always do. <laughs> Recollections from Ambrosia's fifth entry. Can I find them in the right order? Sixth entry. Mm, maybe they're around the building? New hand, are you? Have you some business with me? A dulled blade. A sword given to you by Rothus the Mad Sovereign. The blade's edge is dulled and devoid of luster, formed of blue shards, fragments of an arisen soul. My issue here is this feels like something I could do multiple things with. Is this a choice? Left in your care to Ambrosius. The godsman that wrote this entrusted in your care is no mere blade but his own soul. A soul of an arisen. This, it seems, is what Ambrosius has been so desperately seeking. Like, as far as I can tell, this is the main quest, and the one thing to do, essentially. It just feels like there's, like, reasons it'd be bad to be putting these powers in people's hands. And I don't know if I trust the premise here. But I also don't see I don't know anything else to do in the story, so hmm. Off to hmm. market I go. Ah, a new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Why? Tis an arisens. This This is incredible. I've never seen such a luster. His lips never close, and it's freaking me out. But why do you possess such a thing? Where did you obtain it? No. Never mind. Tis of no consequence. All that matters is this. With this alone, I shall be able to craft a superior godsway, the finest of all created to date. I must make haste that I might deliver it to Lord Phasus even a moment sooner. But wait, no. I have not the worm's life crystals to restore it. Concern it all! Tell me of worm's life crystals. You've not heard of them. They are formed of crystallized drops of dragon blood, and each fragment contains a portion of the beast's soul. It is a requisite component of the god sway, which is formed when the souls of a risen and dragon are combined. Naturally, such crystals can only be obtained through the slaying of drakes and their ilk. Yet I am doubtful that Lord Phasus would lend me his forces when the ritual is so close. We've few enough hands as tears. Allow me to gather them for you. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you even understand what you are offering? Worm's life crystals can only be obtained from drakes, but... I suppose I am in no position to decline, even if tis a fool's errand. 
Lord Phasus is satisfied with the God's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me. Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Feel free to take what you require from the laboratory. Now, as I've said, Worm's Life Crystals can only be obtained from drakes and their ilk. Seek one out and fell it, if tis within your power. All the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. You would be solving two of my problems, then. Okay. Oh, 2,500 gold. Okay, well now I can afford some things sometimes. That'll be helpful. Let's see, fifth entry. For many moons, our experiments proceeded apace. During that time, the fruits of my diligent study of ancient tomes allowed me to be of use to Lord Phasus. What's more, our contributions to the obviation of calamity saw the state grant us an official budget and furnish us with a research facility tailored to our aims. By the time this laboratory was erected, Lord Phasus' standing had become second only to that of the Empress. The new Empress, Her Majesty Nadinia, was crowned, and yet the Forbidden Magic Research Laboratory has persisted, its research into the dragon's summons continuing unbroken. The information we gleaned from our excavation of Moonglint Tower proved vital in our attempts to render the power to command the pawns in crystal form, eventually leading to our success. With this, the day on which Lord Phasus will realize his ambition to conquer the dragon is surely nigh. Hmm. I guess we'll see where it goes. Beg pardon, sir. I mustn't be distracted. Working with any of these people seems like a mistake. This is Phases' room. Nothing really going on here, though. I'll not have you interfering with my work. Seems like everybody either is a beastrin or is wearing a beastrin mask. The latter of which seems fairly screwed up. Why is Vermont funding our research? What do they have to gain from it? I don't know. Truth be told, I've never asked. But I heard a rumor that tis all part of a plot to put the prince, though I suppose he's the regent kin over there, on the throne. What? Where did he hear that rubbish? How's what we're doing here bear any relation to a scheme like that? Tis only what I heard, but you're quite right, it doesn't make much sense. I suppose tis a rumor best ignored, after all. I do wonder what the director's plotting, but... <sighs> Frankly, as long as Batal is left out of it, I don't rightly care what he gets up to. Third entry. Okay, I wish I could just read these in order. Eventually, this research became little more than a pretext. Forbidden magic was reduced to a mere diversion, enjoyed by a small group of elderly sorcerers. It was Lord Phasus, a third their age, and yet thri thrice their brilliance, who restored the art to its former glory. It was also he who rescued me from the dull duty of archivist, and renewed my hope for the future. From our very first meeting, I knew that if anyone could unravel the truth of this world, it was he. Just sort of strange, unnecessary scattering of notes that are collectively only about like two pages of text to begin with. And now I need to, now it's like actively hard to just read them in order. A letter to Lord Phasus. I'm not supposed to have this. That's definitely the case. 
A letter penned by Queen Regent Disa that mentions sending helping hands in return for the gift of God's way, found in the Forbidden. Yep. Seems a tad incriminating. Is it sitting on a shelf in the open? First entry, of course. Forbidden magic, as it came to be called, is a relatively new form of sorcery. It was first introduced a little over four decades ago by a self-proclaimed missionary who declared it to be a means by which mortal kind could forestall calamity. Of course, in this nation, calamity is but a euphemism for the ruinous advent of the dragon and this new branch of spellcraft with its roots... Oh, oh. With its root in dark magic was touted as a power to control the beast. Them saying that the Calamity is just a euphemism for the dragon makes it sound like the... that pawn illness just summons the dragon Sir, in the middle of a town. are you the Arisen? Aye. Then you must have been to the Argamon ruins. I heard a rumor that a Medusa was seen there. Is it true? Because if so, that means tis no mere creature of legend, but a monster as real as any other. Know you the legend of the hero Danaus? Well, one version of the tale claims the hero's foe was a Medusa. The legend is inscribed here. You must take it and read it for yourself, sir, seeing as you've witnessed a genuine article. Okay. Oh, two copies of Prescribed Tranquility. Why are we so chock full of it here? Oh, second entry. At the time, the notion of controlling the dragon was vehemently opposed by certain learned individuals, so it was decided that this forbidden magic should be studied unofficially, away from prying eyes. Consequently, the art was first practiced, but... Ah, God damn it. Uh, beneath the, the palace, research continued thereafter in total secrecy. The Legend of Danaus and the Medusa The beast was twofold the height of any man, with tresses of writhing snakes and the cruelty twisted, the cruelly twisted visage of a woman. Every soldier who beheld her was turned to stone, the terror of their final moments etched upon their faces. Yet Danaus was fleet of foot, and knew no hesitation. A single thrust of his blade was all it took to sever the beast's head. So swiftly was it done, that she knew not her own death. And her terrible gaze lingered on, petrifying the next to meet it. So a Medusa. To think that the Medusa was more than a creature out of legend... What I wouldn't give to catch even a glimpse of one. I think that means you die. I guess not, because we didn't. We did have the the Medusa in the intro, right? That was the tutorial fight. Whoa! I have enough of the spell books for that guy to train me now? So I can then not be a spellcaster rebel? I mean, I could. I might, I might give up on being a big sword man. Just to see if the other ones are more fun. Because I'm having a brutal time with this class. You really miss a dodge roll when you don't get one. Newt Liqueur. Journal from Prisoner Becresos. Fourth entry. I myself will be sent to the pyre ere long. Tis surely only a matter of time. Yet I shall face my end without regret, and with my head held high. For there is no flame that can eradicate the truth, or reduce my soul to ashes. And with my dying breath I shall utter these words. 
the glory, a uh, glory to Batal, and her unwritten history, death of Fuleri the unjust, Seek, uh, self-seeking emperor and deceiver of the people. This is a torture room. Imagining the actual reality of the Arisen just sort of like kneeling there on the ground and just shoving his arm into a grate in the floor of the torture chamber to fish out what is apparently the crown of the tooth of a dead man. Oh, silver! <laughs> Not a very heroic moment for him, is it? An intriguing result. Most intriguing. Black crystal. Uh oh, spiders. Those do attack you, I remember. No. Oh, the bats do too, don't they? Bakbatal Jail. I might not want to be here. I might get a little arrested. Is this like a secret back passage into this place? That's why I did the things I did. Understand. We're here. And I don't believe for a moment that Lanzo meant what he said to me in the hideout. It was all an act. So if you're waiting for me to talk, cuz, don't hold your breath. That's why I did this. And I don't believe for a moment that Lanzo. Okay. Where's the guy who was bribing you? Greetings, sir. You're here about the whelp, I presume. I, I've not forgotten our arrangement. But I'm afraid things aren't going as smoothly as I'd hoped. It's my superiors, you see. They understand that there are some extenuating circumstances, but the lad's still a thief. They're not convinced he should be released so soon. Normally, I'd let the matter lie, but methinks I could find the courage to try again with only a little motivation. What say you, sir? Have you any words of encouragement for me? I'm back to 72 grand? Wow. Aye, that's just what I needed to hear. I'll see about securing the lad's release anon. You really must care for the whelp to go so far for him. Let's hope he's worth it, eh? See, are you guys not attacking me today? I think the guards are not bugged out today. Dude, I had literally zero dollars. Two hours ago. We pawns will always find you, Arisen. Now I have. I'm now I have seventy thousand. Uh -huh. Is this? Oh, that's the. Okay. So that's the lab, and that's the jail right next to each other. What do we have selected right now? Go back to the Oracle again? Are you serious? Bro. I was just there. It's so far away. Fine. Jeez. You'll not get away with this. Wow. Who the fuck? You've made a mistake this day. No, I'm not using Awake Stone. Why was he attacking me? He seems to be from the same lab I was just having free reign of. The NPCs don't make sense to me in this game. 
Just absolutely wild behavior. Let's see, let's look for the vocation trainer. Arms. Vocation guild, so head straight-ish. Few are privy to the goings-on in the forbidden magic research lab, even among the Batali. I would not mind an opportunity to change things up. Greetings, Sir nah. Master. I have a message for you. Sir Manella would speak with you in the palace. I thought you just called her Sal Manella. Pray seek her out at your earliest convenience. Hoy, looking to change your vote. No need to overthink it. You can Trickster. Only the, the Arisen can excel at this vocation. Wielding phantasms to confuse foes, they call forth obstacles and illusions to sow chaos in the battlefield. This will be strange. Fundamentals of Battle Tricksters wield peculiar smoke-dispensing implements known as sensors to conjure an array of illusions. Though they have few means of harming their enemies directly, tricksters excel at the art of deceit, and possess magics be fit to, bef uh, fit to befuddle foes and trick them into delivering their own ends. Only the Arisen can acquire this vocation. Attacking with a sensor. Tricksters use X to swing the sensor and diffuse its smoke. However, unlike other vocations, this, act uh, this action deals hardly any damage, and its true purpose is to draw attention to the wielder. Use the sensor to beguile your foes. You shall... Soon have them dancing on the palm of your hand. Conjuring a simulacrum. Press Y to conjure a simulacrum, an illusory figure that is identical to the caster and can be used to confuse foes. Use right bumper to summon the simulacrum to your side. Note the simulacrum has limited health and will weaken and ultimately dissipate when struck. It will also dissipate if the caster incurs damage or strays too far from away from it. Possession. After conjuring a simulacrum, hold down right bumper and press Y to cast Enthralling Aroma to possess an enemy. Other foes will confuse the possessed victim for the caster and attacked. Uh, the wily trickster knows to turn enmity to their advantage, and need not feel outnumbered even when facing down multiple foes. Sensor Strength and Magic Tricksters cannot deal damage to their foes directly, but equipping a sensor still serves it to augment their prowess in battle by boosting the strength and magic. Strength affects the trickster's ability to draw them the attention of foes by swinging the sensor while magic increases health of their conjure simulacrum. <clears throat> hmm. It's explaining what those stats do to me when they don't do their normal job, essentially. This is usable by this class, but it's weaker than what I'm already using. Straight up can't wear these pants. Sweeping Shroud. Diffuses smoke across a broad range, attracting the attention of any targets the smoke touches. If effigial incense has been cast, targets will focus on the simulacrum instead. Four skills. Slowly repairs damage incurred by a simulacrum while beckoning it to the caster. We have for now. And change it on a whim. You've not well got any fine. The and we're at 23, which is still very far from anything that's actually helpful. Many thanks. They equip you with starting gear. I'm gonna want to go to the inn. That's where they should have my stash. I think I have some mystic gear. The world's changing. 
Not sure how much longer I can keep the inn open. It's tough, but complaining won't do any good. Meowdy. Okay, no weapons here. The even tied mask. Nope, oh, wrong class. Oh, it keeps saying that I can use everything because a lot of these these pieces of gear are for uh, disguises. Do come again. Oh, the mask is separate from the other thing. It does give enough defense you'd want to wear it. This is just a disguise, it doesn't give gear. There we go. <laughs> We're all set. The colors do not match. It was the right call not to throw away the waist cloth because it could be used by this class. Whereas my existing gear, the uh, the leather briefs are are uh, only for the like berserker type class. Yes, I have could just continually not learned the names of any of the uh, melee classes. The, world's the ones I've played all game. Not sure how much longer I can keep There's so many like borderline interchangeable and identical sounding names that they could give them. All right, well, at least that's one weaker piece of gear I don't have to stay, have to keep on. It's tough, but complaining won't do any good. Do come again. Fancy look at my wares. I've reached my final form. I'm even wearing the optimum gear right now, technically. Alright, so I need to get my goddamn pawns back. Hmm, the Grand Rift Stone is over there behind the Rock Mouse. <clears throat> Which makes sense because they hate pawns here. It does mean we have to book it all the way back out there. Now I definitely think I want a warrior to defend me, because I'm not going to be the, the lead guy anymore. Hopefully this is a very entertaining class. Jacinda. 21, 22. These are such low-level characters. You're hitting me with the low levels, Mr. Game. Abby. Yennefer.
Yeah, the, oh, this is a grand stone, right? That means I can... Okay, that means I can do this. Let's go mage and fighter. go too hardcore. <clears throat> I don't actually have that much RC. E621 <laughs> and Raja. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. It will be an honor to serve by your side. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Can't believe that it's called E621. Goodbye, Robert. It was nice knowing you. Here is a row rom Will you not miss my company once I am gone, Arisen? If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. Let's see here. Pawns in the rift. Usernames. Oh, they don't count as being in the rift anymore because they're here. I was gonna be like, show me your secrets, E621. How intensely furry is that Steam profile? That I've oft pondered. I think they're just contemplating the disease again. I'll make a sketch. Where is that anyway? That's the sage, isn't it? No, it's the sculptor block. Oh, the sculptor is like near the sage. I guess I should do both of them then. When oh. travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar illness that imperils the lives of those around us. At first, we are only restless and excitable. But in time, we become so unruly that even the arisen holds no sway over us. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful, lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. Well, that gives me a couple of objectives. I think I want to rest until morning, because it's a nightmare out there. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Given the state of things, I may have to close the inn ere long. Uh, I fear for the future of this nation. Always a pleasure. Uh, nine, 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 nine. What in tarnation? I see you trying to gouge me. The other guy charges me two thousand, and he gives the same sob story as the other guy about how he's gonna have to close soon. But the other guy charges me like a tenth as much. My services don't come cheap. Let's see. Only weapons. Do you even sell a weapon for this class? A sensor. It does 20 more damage, but this is like not a damaging class. Seems like wasteful compared to what kind of gear the other one might have. Not buying. That's just as well. Me? Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you... I would feel so self-conscious all the time if I had somebody just constantly trying to comment on every single thing I do at all times. Ooh. This is a nice helmet that doesn't cover my face with a weird little thing. I definitely could... I would like to have a filter that just shows what I can actually wear. And reduce it to just that. Is 
This crown. More magic defense. So I'm already wearing. Priestly habit. It's very funny that it has less armor. This one has a bit more, but only five. Monastic toga. Mmm. A lot of stuff for the class we don't have access to. <laughs> These pants. Oh my goodness. Oh, can't wear that. Those are some short shorts. They're weirdly lower in defense. Don't care about any of those. You dared. How about enhancing? Let's see. Oily slime. Uh, well, I know what I, I know where to get that from. It's gonna be a little tough to farm for it. Try to take anything without. This is two fifty-seven. Two fifty-two. But higher knockdown resistance and magic defense. This one less so, but higher defense. It looks kind of awesome, though. Isn't that all I need? Paying for it first. Twisted pinion. I can actually get actually have some of the upgrade materials here too. Jasper. I'm out of Jasper. Did I sell my Jasper? Maybe. I feel like I remember having Jasper. Many thanks. Go on, have a look. My appearance. My services don't. Let's see, did this increase my magic? It increases my magic by a fair amount. Okay. So it increases my magic by sixty. Yeah, and I'm a spellcaster functionally, so I should definitely have that then. Don't come cheap. Red Wolf Fang. Keep mind. Come again when you've more caught. I know I don't actively farm, but I definitely feel like I just kind of get roped into enough fights that I should have more resources than I do. I feel like I, I, I end up spending like half of my time playing this game fighting, so I'm always a little surprised when I don't have more of what I need for the upgrades by now. Well met, sir. The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep the open. Might just genuinely need to farm at some point off camera to make up for it. There we go, get rid of my excess. The fact that I'm heavy right now is very funny. It's tough, but complaining won't do any good. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. I wonder if I'm just heavy because I'm actually wearing a shirt for the first time. It's just that hard to get your inventory to be light. That's a Marcy. Just one... Just one Griffin defeat. That has not worked out. The reason I served was an odd sort. Something of a drifter. The reason drew mistrustful stares wherever he went. Suffice to say, I'm glad tis over and relieved to be back. You didn't like him. Oh no. And then we got trash. So two people used our character and sent me trash, and one of them, they must have just died? Travel with four people. Wait, you can give nothing? 
One of them gave a thumbs up with no item. I don't even know you could not give an item. And then someone didn't give any sign at all. It's gonna take 500 years to get this, uh... Not 10k this time. It's gonna take 500 years to actually make it there. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Ah, oh, nope. I didn't even press the direction. Let me out. Let's see. Sort by weight. Let's hand off that at least so I get a little lighter. Uh, Dragon's Gaze. I'm so heavy. Here's a fish. Uh, oh, it's all these books. Those aren't helping. The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep the enough. Yup, that was a chunk of it right there. There we go. There's just like an excess of some of these things that I don't use too often. Just filling my entire inventory. There we go. Oh wait, this is strength, isn't it? More likely to stagger and knock down. I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can stagger and knock down foes as this character. It's tough. Do come again. I love inventory management. Urgh. Leon. Can't carry anymore. Okay. Now I need to fix Leon because now his inventory is too full. Oh, do not discard. Ooh. Give me that beetle. I want that beetle. Oh God. I have two, how did I end up with two dragons blinks? Why is he wearing the worst one? <laughs> Wait, there's one that has higher stats and he's wearing the other one. What happened? Let's see, boost the amount recovered when I'm using curatives, carry limit, yeah. The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep. Okay, poor Leon has just a nightmare of of excessive weird duplicate items in his inventory. Had I don't know that happened. Why is he wearing the worst ones? Okay. Oh, you poor man. You never use that book. Keep being open. Okay. Now let's look at the rings again. Uh, maximum health, carry weight, carry weight, carry weight, curatives. Uh, boost strength. Magic defense. Okay, it's not super relevant That's rings. Tough. But complaining won't do always a pleasure. Fancy look at my wares. 
Okay. Everyone's here now. Even E61. And now we once again go on a journey across the wastes and the whatnot. <laughs> but now I don't have a special running button. Oh, evil dogs. Time to figure out how this class works. Bonk. I've got a weird dupe. Do they attack or anything? Oh, weapon skills are on the left bumper. I was using the right bumper. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna take me a bit to figure out what, what's even happening with this class. Could be interesting to see where it might take us. I believe we would be remiss not to make use of this. What is it mean to transport? Oh, this thing. Uh oh. Do I get attacked for holding a sensor out outside? Like, like people forget if I'm holding a weapon. Uh, will they forget if I'm holding a sensor, even though it's not even like a weapon? Everybody get on. As a matter of fact, who could have guessed that so many who were once arisen, though they are arisen no longer, it seems oh, they Griffin. I wonder if they were possessed of steadfast wills of their own. Hey, everybody. So it says that the pawn has to become forfeit in order to be cured. Does that mean that if I ever see Leon freaking out and acting weird, I should just throw him off a cliff? And then he's cured? Because I don't know. Well, given how this goes across the cliffs and whatnot, this is probably faster. I remember stumbling on the part. Ooh, there's a guy down there eating someone. Um. Red stuff. Here, an enchantment of cold frees our foes. Maybe getting around in the southern half isn't that bad. If this gets around. It's kind of a boring wait, but it seems like it covers a lot like a lot of ground. You'd be you'd be faster on ground on foot normally, but as the crow flies, it lets you go like straight over all the cliffs. So now I am here. Okay, so I went from here to here. And then I can go from here to there. And that makes me closer to my destination. So lose. So that's the person that's the Oracle. And up here is where the the uh sculpture wants me to go. Oh no. I've got to recall it in real time. Oh no. I will protect you. There's something about how this game seems to throw kind of tedious things at you, almost like a joke. Like how willing it is to just be like, ha, fuck you. This could grant us an edge in battle if we use it well. Oh, hi. It is a mechanism for hauling freight, and it looks as if it can bear a significant load. Might we not avail ourselves of its use? I can bear a significant load. Or something, won't you? What do you sell? Cape, you, shawl. It's fine. It's fine, I guess. A fair cloak. Moonhow cape. Murky grouse feather cloak. The fullback one with feather is admittedly easy to like. I'm already wearing that. 
Oh, hey, it's the pants part of where I'm wearing right now. Is it just the same ones, but red? The answer is yes, it's the same one, but red. It has one more defense. <laughs> one more defense. I don't think I'm going to spend... Uh, oh, it's only 12 grand. This is 30 grand. Alright, well... I don't need it to match that badly. The Ring of Cooling. Reduces damage taken from fire attacks. Let's see, how much do these even give you? Like, 3% resistances? Because these are mostly cosmetic. Oh, I hate how much it floats around my neck without touching it. Oh, it's weird looking. Oh, the shoes are better, though. I have, like, weird janky boots, and these are, like... These are sandals. Well... Hope to see you again. Only you could be as beautiful as me. I fear I shall lose sight of is this actually helpful or is there a cliff in the way? Uh, that's right next to the road. That should be fine. If you go much farther. You're you're gonna lose sight of me if I go further, Leon? You're you're right there. I'm just astonished by how much his ass is just out. <laughs> we are none of us alike in vocation. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. I can't quite tell if my interactions if my left stick interactions even do anything during this. It's unclear. Save me! Flying enemies are so effective against me, but when when I have an archer and they just shoot the flying enemy, it makes it feel like it's a huge risk to be a flying enemy because they take like one hit and then they fall to the ground to take maximum fall damage on the way down. Do -do -do. Come on, everybody. I still basically have no idea how to play this character, but we'll continue forward. Oh. That's where you're hiding, huh? I guess we're fighting this guy's. Uh oh. Evoking wait. Fury of the no. Oh, I thought you had to press something. There we go. All right, because the prevailing flames, I think, was the possession. <clears throat> Just smacking him. Yeah. Enthralling aroma. Ooh, kiss! I feel like I'm gonna need to unlock more uh, abilities before this class makes any sense, because you have almost no buttons and can't attack, which is wild. Actually, in unhinged <laughs> that there's a class that has no attacks. Imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. And like two buttons at the beginning. For battle if we rest over much. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. Oh, I didn't get the summon it. Oh, here it comes. Ah! Hope he's dead. Oh, he's still alive. Kiss, 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 kiss. He's dead. Ah! 
<laughs> He's fine. He's not fine. Ow! What? Ow! Ow! Nope, doggy. Now the doggy's getting a hug. Did I do it? <laughs> Isis Sting is yours to wield. Oh, that's not an enemy, is it? It's surprisingly hard to tell whether someone's an enemy. The game is chock full of bystanders. Ooh, red, full, red, red wolf fangs is what I need. That was... This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only... Oh, okay, that's one of the slimes I need to kill. That's good. You must cleanse yourself of that oil post haste. Can I enthrall a slime? Oh, is the slime dead? Hey, oily slime. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. This is going to be a weird experience. Oh, more slimes? Okay. There, hug the slime. <laughs> ah! Okay, fire makes the slime explode. Might be an effective way of killing it, not an effective way of me getting oil afterwards, because you burned it all. Dick. There it is. I, I, think I, I knew I heard something. Can you hug the ceiling guy? Follow me. He wishes to gaze upon a griffin, but Leon, please shoot it. It's right above you. Last, but not impossible. I beg of thee. Go where we are bit. Follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Is it gonna come down? Grant you an elemental boon. Avoid flame at any cost, or is it? You'll be doubt the noise. I feel like it's AI kind of broke on me. I can't really hit it. All right, well, fuck it. Oh, now are you hitting it? You figure out how to attack it eventually? Nope, it's still up there. All right. <laughs> It feels like it's pathing on the ceiling is stuck or something and it can't figure out how to get down. And doesn't seem to have, just have the ability to fall on you. Or won't trigger. I don't know. Well, I really am covered in oil. Ah! I will protect you. There you go. Become friends. Nothing bad will happen. There you go. So doing that big AoE makes the mole aggro on my current shroud guy. So I put my guy on someone, then I do the big AoE and that causes them all to attack that guy specifically. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. <laughs> J 
During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there? On a bit of a mission at the moment. Check out your tangents at another time. It is clear to me that my fate is to aid you. Where is the dragon I seek? Ah, but which dragon do you seek? Oh. Uh -huh. The dragon that stole your heart shall appear before you when the time has come. If instead you seek the so-called lesser dragon, you would do well to pay a visit to Dragon's Breath Tower. It's that simple, you just go to the place that's called Dragon? When you find your quarry, mayhap this time you will bring it low. Needed an oracle for this? If tis yet another dragon you seek, then perhaps you ought to search for it yourself. Your feet will guide you no less ably than any revelation on my part. They say thieves strike swift as the wind and sudden as a thunderbolt. I shall endeavor not to disappoint. Go away. Who the fuck are you? Go away. <laughs> Coming up after me. I enjoy these background guys. Look out, Marcus! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. When I can make them all friendly fire, that seems like a weakness. So this is where the statue thing is that we started uh, ten hours ago. I was wondering when you'd show. Now, are you ready to aid me in sketching that Griffin? Remember, you'll need to draw the fight out as long as you can. I must behold the creature from every angle if I am to coax it lifelike from the stone. Marvelous. Up we go then. I said the best thing to do was to petrify it, but I don't think I'm equipped to deal with that. Ow. There we go. I guess we get murdered as hell. Trying to put it on one of you. There you go. So everyone that this hits should all be enthralled to attack my current copy. My current copy's trying to attack me. You have to fire it as a projectile at people. Very strange. So I do need to make sure I actually loot everybody. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Which can be surprisingly hard when B is also run. There we go. That's actually probably enough Red Bull Fangs for my upgrade. If I still have that item, I forget. <laughs> surprisingly hard to loot people. I wish there was just like an AoE loot sometimes. But the fact that the loot is the same button as run just makes it very hard to successfully loot anybody. Wh Who's this random guy just hanging out? Oh right, that's the sculptor. Because <laughs> he went on ahead. Alright, so if so far I had bad luck against Griffins, now I'm going to try to fight them as a class that has no abilities. Ooh. This doesn't seem very helpful. It's on his tail. There's a chunk of damage right there. Not sure who did it, it wasn't me. I don't think we want my clone to be on the enemy, because there's no one to draw to attack them. Just thwacking them with a the fucking... It's like a metal basket.
Well, one of you did damage earlier. Can you do that again? Yep. Yeah. I don't know about this one. <laughs> oh, there's a spike of damage. I was about to say, I might have to give up until I have, like, more abilities to help with this, because it seems like they're not up to the task. But then they... Then they really abruptly do a ton of damage, and I can't tell the difference between each. Maybe if I just climb, I can, like, be an annoyance. Or throw them off balance. I'm kind of just generally confused what they're doing. They can do huge, huge amounts of damage, but only sometimes when they feel like it. Oops. Uh, was that good enough? I suppose that will have to do. I'll have to use my imagination for the finer details, I fear. But it should turn out well, all the same. Oh, Leon. You need to be alive. That's really important. Thank you, Master. I only hope I did not disappoint. Okay, well, the good news is I didn't have to actually win. Because I don't think I'm equipped to do that yet. As this class, at least. Obtain 15 Worms Life Crystals. Ah! Gonna take a bit, isn't it? So Fulvia's on pause, so I think all of our stories are back to not making progress for a bit, so we're just back to the main story. Looking for these crystals, which they're suggesting I go look for down here by Sigurd. When did these symbols start appearing? I feel like I saw it for the first time here with Luz. Are there older instances of it? Like, I'm wondering, if, did they add old, important quest characters to that? I don't see any more. But they could be... out there. Never been there. Hmm. I can look at your quest list from the screen, that's interesting. Huh. Those icons are not explained anywhere. Oh, there's one down here. Play out? Nah. There isn't an indicator of what that means specifically, but it seems to refer to NPCs. See, riding the cart from there to there seems like it'll help. So let's do set waypoint. If Worm's Life crystals can only be obtained from Drakes and their ilk, we shall have to find some to slay. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? Uh, you have our gratitude. Lead the way. I gained a couple ranks of vocation, so I think I'm gonna want to ride the cart back to town, and then see if I can get a new ability to be less trash at this, and then we can go. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. A chance to recover our strength would be most welcome. There's this little During town in here. The rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet nope. to explore. Shall I take us there?
It's not where I am, is it? I'm over here. Nope, it's just some bad time ruins. Who's this master? Fuck him up. <laughs> Is he being carried right now? It seems kind of powerful. I did my best to match your skill, master. There you go. Get that guy. He seems like he's the important one. Oh, that guy's got a bomb in his back. Oh, blow up on them. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Whoop. There you go. Double kill. Wow, I, fa I finally found my perfect class. The being bad at combat class. Ow! Out. I'm trying to make this guy get aggroed. Uh, nope. I cannot hit this guy. Wow. And I had such a simple goal, too. <laughs> ah, we're out of enemies. I was trying to make it so that all the enemies around would attack him. I can still recruit more. This is my chance. Where's my weapon? Ow. Ow. Ow! Ow. Not quite what I was going for. Trying to aggro them all onto this guy. God damn. This is hard. Have I still not put it on him? What? What? This guy's like unusually hard to put the ghost on. There we go. I was just trying to make all the whole camp of people attack him. Surprisingly hard to set off. There we go. There's some damage. I think there was a range problem where my ghost despawned off the boss when I ran over to the goblins. Which is a struggle. So I was trying to aggro them all onto the boss to take them down for me. But then I aggroed them all and then they all attacked me because when I when my ghost isn't out, they attack me. And so they just they 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 obliterated me so hard I didn't get to do anything. This seems very effective though. I think my thing died though. Yep, now they're on me again. Fuck, that's the downside. They keep killing my ghost before I can send it at anyone. No.
God damn it. Okay, I did a lot of damage. I think I, fa I think I did effectively cause that with all the uh, people I brought over. I don't think that I, I don't think I just happened to watch as a fight happened. I think I did sincerely like do my class. That's funny. Completely unhinged class makes no sense. <laughs> hey, more vocation up. I think that's how you fight bosses as this class, is you aggro at a nearby encampment of enemies and tell them to all fight the boss for you. Which I'll collect that. You I guess that's trouble yourself. That doesn't that does make sense to why they would why it would be a kind of a pain in the ass to play as this class then. Cause it is it is hard to accomplish that. Cause yeah, every second that your ghost isn't up, uh, everyone attacks you. We shall have to rely on our other senses as the darkness robs us of our sight. Ideally, you would aggro everyone on... T you would put the thing on the boss, then aggro everyone. But if the distance is great enough, then your thing will despawn. And that's bad. But another rank means that I am yet more ready to buy more abilities. Be on your guard. Let us proceed with due caution. Because before I go fight dragons, it would be helpful to at least have like an action bar of abilities. Now. I was trying so hard to jump my bones. I gotta really keep an eye, an eye on my illusion and make sure I know how alive they currently are. Because the moment they disappear, everyone attacks me, and that's terrifying. Freeze me up a bit to loot during combat. offers no solace in victory. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Come on, everybody. We got a long commute. This is the commute video game where you commute. And none of you seem to ever do this for me. Here we go. Now we're in a horrible dark void where we just pray that death does not come at any moment. Yonder, rescue me from thine blackest void, blah blah blah. Hi. That does sound convenient. I believe we would be removed. Let's see. To make use of this. Might I be one of you take charge? No, not Leon. He's the only one with ranged attacks. Wait. I summon a guy. He doesn't stay on the platform. Everything we summon gets left behind. But if I hold right bumper, they stay with me, I think. 
As long as I'm holding right bumper, they float behind me. I forgot what be bevailing fumes does versus enthralling. Is our first time venturing this way? This is the capital, sir. We were just here. Utterly strange class. It just occurred to me that we got we got Leon back from the other users and he suddenly was wearing clothes. I'm like You did this. <laughs> no, we're fine. We're, eh? Over here mm -hmm. if you would. The awkwardness of being able to level up a vocation, but you can only get the abilities by going back to a vendor. <laughs> this is a this is a setup that even MMORPGs abandoned, and they're the ones that most of this idea came from. It seems like. No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. So sweeping shroud. Targets focus on the simulacrum instead. Suffocating shroud. Shroud. Just a larger area. So just immediately, I have a larger version of the move. Okay, why not? Delusions. Delusory screen. Conjures a delusory wall that hinders hostile targets movement and blocks their field of vision. The wall dissipates after a time. It just lets me... It's just a thing for me to hide behind. That's funny. Elusive divider. An advanced form of delusory screen that extends the effect's duration and allows up to two walls to be conjured. You just full on just hide from combat. Aromatic rally. Diffuses... Incense in the vicinity that boosts the offensive capabilities of all allies it touches and allows them to fight on even if their health runs out. Allies' health falls steadily while active. Oh. Huh. I mean, I want my allies to be stronger, but it hurting them is a little worrying. Espial Incense. Detaches a caster's spirit from their physical form by inhaling a peculiar incense. Spirits can be controlled and used to scout distant places undetected, consume stamina while in use. Weird. It looks like you're. It looks like you can fly around as it, and your summon follows you, so you can use it to attach your summon to people. Very strange. Don't know how much I'm actually going to use this one. So whenever I have the summon with me, it heals. We have that one. Drifting broom. Swings the sensor to conjure a cloud of smoke before unleashing it upon targets. The smoke can travel to reach targets that are not too far away and draws attention of any targets and engulfs. Hmm. Like a long range aggro ability? Effigial quick burn. Hastens the speed at which a simulacrum is created when casting yes. <laughs> Please do it. It takes so long. Extends the distance that a simulacrum created with a visual incense can venture from the caster. That, okay. So just upgrading at the aggro abilities I have already. Those are, those both speak to the immediate friction I had in the last fight where I'm like, oh my god, it takes so long to summon each time it dies. And also, it I 
it just disappears when I'm not that far away. So I might have had a my plan might have gone way more smoothly if I had that ability. Detection alerts you to the presence of seek any seekers tokens or wake stone shards in the vicinity with sound and blinking light. Okay. Oh, I don't have any augments equipped. Whoops. You have a chance to of creating one or more of the resulting product when combining materials, so you get more crafting. Physical defense, targeted by foes, carry additional weight. Oh, that's why I'm so heavy, I lost Thu. Health, Thu, defense, there we go. My bad. It doesn't keep your old stuff equipped when you make a new class. So I just straight up had less health and carry capacity. Whoops. I'm already as high, almost as high of a rank as Fighter was. You've naught to lose and you might even make a new So this class just has a freaking seeker token uh, seeking ability. That's interesting. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? Is this the reasonably priced one? What have you come for? The world's changing. Yes. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared. Good morrow, everyone. Come. We've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. All right, now we're ready to go dragon hunting. Nah, damn it. Good at pressing every wrong button. So go there, then south. Uh, that looks like it just goes back to where I'm already going. Hmm. Nope, I think we're wrong. We're gonna just want to go on foot this time. That guy's axe appears to be on fire. Not axe, Morningstar. Yeah, judging by where that dotted line seemed like it was going, it seemed like if I just hang a left here, I'll get to the uh, where the other dotted line goes bef in a faster fashion than I would have gone if I took the very lengthy route, because it feels like your the dotted lines almost like practically double back on themselves. Every master I've ever served has favored different tactics. One part the beast excels at attacking from the sky. Follow its movements carefully, lest it catch you unawares. I shan't let them harm. Who's the sky one? Oh. Might have been the griffin. Uh oh. We're under Your health keeps coming back. It's getting rude. Uh guys to me. Nope. 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 Don't fight don't fight the griffin. Nope. We're not gonna get anywhere here. Maybe if all these guys were here when we fought the griffin. Ow, ow. But the act of trying to aggro them all, I think it's gonna kill me before I can ever reach the griffin. Yep. Here I go. Teammates, you wanna help a little bit? Damn. Ah! Ah! Get on the griffin, please. Please get on the griffin. Everybody kill the griffin. Ah, uh, most of the goblins are dead, I think. Damn it.
Don't look at me. Everyone killing me with their superpowers. Did he get poisoned? off again. No, he's not. Or maybe he is? Ah! <laughs> I get on that. Is it on? Ah, oh, damn it. I can't tell if I'm putting down the griffin or not. Don't look at me. It's entertaining trying to get them all to attack the griffin. Seems like we're still not strong enough to make a serious dent in this guy, though. And I'll probably just fly away again. You take a nap? He was down? Thank you. Thank you. That's a whole health bar down. That's something. I don't have any more guys to throw at him, though. Yep, and he's gone. Attempts were made. Can I uncast this? Did I just cast it again? I meant to uncast it. How do I how do I uncast the spell that slowly hurts everybody? Uh oh. No, it's okay. Game fight's over. You can stop using it. I shan't deny they have. We've got rattlers. Oh. An enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. I do need to kill some of these. Yeah, go fight the slime. That'll work out great for you. What happens when I tell two slimes to fight each other? Oh, the slime's just out here digesting boars. It's kind of upsetting. Yep. 
These things are about as equipped at, at fighting slimes as you'd expect. But can two slimes fight each other? It seems like that one never reaches this one. But did this one die? Uh, trying to die inside the slime, it's really mean. There you go, you got it. Is that pet? Whoa! Is this Borg petrified or frozen? My word! This ox cart has been destroyed. The work huh. of goblins may happen. Careful now. Very weird. Maybe they petrified it. That was new. Why oh. are you doing this, Arisen? Did not mean to grab you, but hey, look, free trip upstairs. Wait, someone dying over there? Oh, they might be upstairs. Couldn't see where the icon is. Whoa! Look at him! Oh, he kicks. Ah, oh, oh, I'm being eaten. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury Uh, let go? Ow? It climbs. Okay. Hey, it's frozen. You can't see me, I'm invisible. Is half dead now? God. The level of bullying where they just freeze him. Sinister Fang. Yeah, I believe that's a new enemy for me. Hearing a weird noise. I'll lead the way. I think the game's currently trying to tell me that there's a collectible upstairs. I'm hearing a weird noise that I'm not used to hearing. Which, to its credit, is less annoying than the shrine. Finding noise from is best avoided here. from Tears of the Kingdom. Is it up top? It was definitely getting faster over here. There it is. That is what that is. Oh, it's blinking. That makes it really clear that it's the same, that that's what's causing it. Okay. So that's how that ability works. So you can just straight up track down the collectibles that way. 
Don't break the bridge, don't break the bridge, don't break the bridge. I'm chasing it as well, have you? Um, hi. Hi. Rumors abound that the Shrine of Earth is demand. Could be hiding all manner of priceless treasures, couldn't it? And if monsters happen to be guarding it, I shan't be a fear. Nay, I'll strike him down with two feet. No, all the enemies disappeared. I hear one. There can be no one of us has been poisoned. You can even basically hear what direction it's in. So it's like kind of low in the sound mix. I will protect you. Might be up there. Oh, it's the treasure, maybe. That strategy never would have occurred to me. It's the treasure. <laughs> oh, this is just gonna be taunting me all game now, huh? This sound. Okay, I see how it is. I immediately hear another one. Damn. Well, now I've got no choice. Now I've got to. No, nah, there's no way. There's a funny skimpy outfit you can get from the collectibles, but I think it requires you to get like half of them. That just feels kind of absurd. Ow. Ow. Okay. Nope. Jesus. I really get my order of operations down where I summon the thing first. Or it goes very bad for me when they all start attacking me. Look out! Knackers! Pursuing. Get smoked, nerd. This class is bizarre. <laughs> Here's the actual road. You know what? I don't think the whole thing where you land on your arms and everything works out is actually an option. I think they're lying to you when you say that. Ow! Did my thingy die? <gasps> Friend! Wow. They really just freeze people left and right now, huh? They appear to be having a bad time. It's me. I'm a bad time. <laughs> 